Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, as always, duh, we are doing a, another first impressions playing with new makeup or like new makeup to me, new makeup that I just bought or got, not necessarily like new on the market, um, but we're playing with a ton of new products. Quarantine has done some bad, bad things to my bank account and my makeup collection. I have so many products to test out because I'm bored, so I just keep buying. I need to delete the Sephora app off my phone, like ASAP. It's getting out of control. Um, but so I just have been kind of collecting a ton of products, and so don't be surprised if you see a ton of these videos from me. I'm sorry, but I just have been shopping like crazy. So I kind of just pulled a bunch of products based on the look that I wanted to do, and I thought that I would play with them on camera for you guys so you guys can see my thoughts and opinions and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in not necessarily seeing how I got this look, but the products that I used on my face, then just keep watching. All right, so I know I look a little scary, but I just went ahead and put my brows on and used some concealer to kind of clean them up and stuff. Um, lately, I've been doing a straighter brow and then I've also been doing um, soap brows and I've really loved the way they look. It's just like super fluffy and thick and I just do not have that naturally. So um, yeah, I just used my soap brow, a spoolie, and then a little bit of pomade to kind of just fill them in a little bit and then clean it up with concealer. So before we start today, I'm excited because I have a semblance of an idea of a makeup look I want to do, which is really, really rare for me when I'm doing these like first impressions things. I kind of just like wing it. Um, but today I kind of want to look cute. I want to like get my life together a little bit. So um, I actually have a little bit of inspo. Um, so and the products that I have to test out actually work pretty well for this. Um, so I want to do kind of like a pinky kind of moment situation. Um, I don't know, something like soft, natural, pretty pink. We'll see kind of how it goes. That's my inspo. Doesn't mean it's going to turn out like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited, excited because for once I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with my face while I'm playing with these new products, which normally I just see how they perform like by themselves, but I want to see how they perform with me like actually trying to use them for something specific. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have this QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line serum corrector thing. I think I got this in a boxy charm, but my lips are chapped. So, so, okay. <laughs> I kind of just want to see how this helps them. Also, I know I'm pale AF. I'm trying to give my skin a little break from self tanning. It's been really hard. So this sinks in really, really fast. It's not like a chapstick or anything. I don't know. Am I not using enough? So I'm gonna be starting with my base today, and the first thing I wanna try is this Pretty Filter Glassy Skim Balm from Touch and Soul. Um, this, I don't know anything about or how it works or anything. Um, Touch and Soul is like a K-beauty brand. Let's just invest it. Is this a moisturizer? Or is this a primer? I'm so confused. Um, all right, well, this feels like a moisturizer. It feels like a really thick moisturizer that could potentially like be a primer kind of thing. I don't really know what to make of this. I don't, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> it is like hydrating though. I'm just trying to be careful not to get it in my eyebrows. I don't know how I feel about this. Ugh, it's sticky in like a gross thick way. It's not sticky in like a primer that's like meant to be sticky. Um, I don't know. I can, I can feel it on my skin and I don't, I'm not a fan of that like sticky, heavy feeling. So I don't think I like this. I don't have a new foundation to test out because the foundation I do have is way, way, way too dark for what I am right now. Um, but I do have the new Hourglass Vanish concealers to try today. So I figured we would kind of stay on brand and I'm just gonna quickly go in with my Hourglass Vanish foundation sticks. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Porcelain. Okay, so this was actually a little bit too light for me and I look like just 
so scary right now. But it's okay. We're gonna, we're, it's gonna, it's gonna come together. Don't worry. I feel like people get so stressed when I do my foundation because it's like just such a mess. So the two concealers I have to try, I have Oat and Birch. Oat is definitely gonna be way, 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 way too dark. Um, so I'm gonna go in, that's like my self tan shade, I think. Um, yeah, this should work. Oh, this packaging, <laughs> luxury. I love Hourglass. Okay, doe foot applicator is like an oval shape. I've heard this stuff is like so full coverage. Ooh, it feels so nice going on. Yes, so excited about this. Um, and then I have this Juno & Co. Microfiber Lavender Velvet Sponge. Was I supposed to wet this? I hope so because I did. Oh, it does say wet the sponge completely. Okay, cool, because I used this, the Real Techniques one, didn't wet it, and I hate it. So hopefully I like this one. Um, I'm just going to go in with the pointy side, I guess. Um, okay, so I love everything that's happening on my face right now. This blended out so easily, so quickly. Look how freaking full coverage that is. Holy guacamole. That's insanity. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, now I know why everybody was obsessing over this because there is reason to. Wow, this is so good. And I actually really like this Juno & Co sponge like a lot. It feels really like soft and squishy and just like really comfortable on my under eye. I find even a beauty blender can drag a little bit sometimes, but this just is a dream. Before I go in and set everything, I do have a cream bronzer product to, why did my voice just crack so bad? I do have a cream bronzer product to test out. This is the Nude Sticks Matte Face Lip Eye Contour Color thing. Um, and I have mine in the shade Bondi Babe. I love their packaging, this is so cool. I'm definitely gonna use this for traveling, like put like tweezers and stuff in there. Like, how useful, thank you. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need a lot of that today. And it does come with like a little brush on the other side. I'm not gonna use that because I feel like it's just gonna be an absolute mess. And I'm also not gonna apply this straight away onto my face because products like these can sometimes act like an eraser and kind of pick up your foundation and like move it around and like leave you a blotchy mess. So I'm actually gonna apply this straight onto a brush and then I'm just gonna kind of dab it and kind of carve out my cheekbones a little bit like that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, that's nice. And I'm actually gonna take it a little bit on my nose just to get that like sun-kissed look. This blends so nicely. I'm a big fan of this. For my setting powder today, I'm gonna be going in with the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Loose Setting Powder. And I'm actually just going to be using this on my under eyes and in my T-zone. Um, I don't wanna set my whole face with this. Um, just because I find translucent powders to be a little bit too heavy on my skin lately and especially with this glassy balm thing my skin feels sticky right now and I'm just not a fan of that so I don't want to pile a ton more product on there the packaging on these are so that's so cute so it is just like a straight white translucent I'm just gonna take a tiny tiny bit of ooh, too much too much too much on my sponge and just Mmm, this makes you look really airbrushed. I like this. So I'm going to bronze with this Too Faced Tutti Fruity Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer Highlighting Duo. Can we talk about the names of all of this stuff? Like, that's just ridiculous. The packaging is so cute. These have been out for a while. I just finally got my hands on one though. So this is supposed to be like a highlighter and then we got a bronzer here. I'm not gonna go into the highlighter because that's way too dark for me. Um, but I am going to dip. Oh, actually, I don't want to use this brush. I need a fluffier brush. And then for blush, I am going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, and mine is in the shade Dim Infusion. Wow, today is like all Hourglass, I'm realizing. This is not a new product for me. I have a lot of these and the bronzers and the strobing powders, all that kind of stuff, but I really, really love these. Um, and this color itself is new. It's like a very like nudey, peachy, pale, barely there pink. Um, so I'm just gonna 
Ooh, that's a little more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Blush always fades super, super quick on me, so I always over apply anyways. And we just, just blend it out. These are such a beautiful formula if you're looking for something like not like obnoxious, super like matte, overly pigmented blushes. These are just so, so pretty. So I'm gonna stop here with all my face stuff. I'm gonna go in and do my eyeballs now, I think, um, because all that I have left is highlight. Um, I don't think I have a setting spray or anything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in and do eyeshadow now. So I have two palettes here that I wanna try. I have the Fenty, Fenty? Fenty Beauty um, Moroccan Spice Palette. Again, this is not super new, but I've just never tried it before, and I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm too. Um, and then I have this Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini Palette, which is beautiful. This is what the Moroccan Spice Palette looks like. These two shades are just so beautiful. I think that's kind of what I'm going for. And then it has like the nice warm browns and stuff that I need. And I don't even know if I'm gonna use this one because I already know that I'm obsessed with the formula of Juvia's Place. These are by far some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. They're such good quality. I really bought this palette for like this shade here, this like purpley and then these like blue tones and this green, mostly, mostly for this like bottom section here. So. I might save this and do like an actual look with these because I just, whew, so good. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna take this middle like salmony pink shade here and I'm just taking that on a really fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease. I am gonna dust in a little bit of this warm brown here just because that's like a little too like peachy and I want it to be a little less peach, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know that I would like reach for this religiously. So I'm going to take this pinky color here. Oh, that's like Barbie baby pink. <laughs> Nothing's happening. All right. This just definitely applies better with the finger, I would say. I mean, it's pretty, but I'm not like blown away by it. I now want to go in with this really, really pretty, like super sparkly nude down here and see if I can top it and get like a really nice shimmer payoff. Okay. It looks like pretty sparkly in there, but it's like just like a neutral shimmer shadow. I don't know. It looks so pretty. You can't even tell like how pretty it looks in the pan, but it's like so glittery and sparkly. And then like so, not my favorite. So I am gonna apply lashes and everything today, um, but before I do that, I wanna apply this mascara. This is the Pretty Vulgar Faux Real Extreme Volume Mascara, which is covered in translucent powder, um, and it's in the shade 149 Black Swan. Their packaging is so pretty. Can you see how pretty, like, it's just so stunning. I love their packaging so much. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. I like brushes like this. This is almost like the Too Faced Better Than Sex brush, like really thick and fluffy. Oh yeah, this is a good mascara. Okay, so I feel like I've been sitting here for literal hours. I'm so ready to be done. Um, but this is just the makeup look that I came up with. Um, not like the picture at all, but it's fine. We're improvising. Um, so for highlight, I'm going to be using the new Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. I saw this at Walmart the other day. Not the other day. It was a while ago. So yeah, this is just a loose face highlighter um, in the shade Snow Much Ice. I don't know. I think I can pull it off because I'm pretty fair right now. Why would this come with a powder puff? That doesn't make sense to me. And I'm just going to take a blending eyeshadow brush just because loose highlighters tend to kind of dissipate all over the face. So with a loose highlighter, I like to go in with a more precise brush. And... <gasps> that's icy oh my god so when you first apply it like look at that that's crazy right like metallic but then it kind of just blends away 
I also am not a fan of the color of this. This is like pink. I don't know what I was thinking picking this up. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't love this. You can see it kind of leaves like an ashy cast here. I mean, it's pretty, but I just, I think the, the pink is the issue for me. Um, so I do have another highlighter that we could test out today. I have this Be Perfect Sub-Zero Highlight Collection by M -M 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 Mitchell. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, he is a, cheese Louise, super awesome makeup artist. Um, I follow him on Instagram. He does the craziest, most intense, wild looks. So I picked this up from Beauty Bay. I figured if he made it or collabed on it, then it has to be good. Um, so I'm gonna go into the shade Babely, Babe, Babely, Babely. This one right here, this like peachy middle shade. Let's see if we can't salvage this a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is much better. I am a lot happier. Much, much better. Last but not least, um, for lips, I have two Morphe lipsticks. I don't, I don't know if I've tried these before. I feel like maybe I have like the bullet lipstick. Okay, <laughs> so I have tried these before. Actually, um, I have two of these. From what I remember, the formula was pretty good. It's like a matte formula, um, but I have two here. I have Bear It All and then Boy Toy. And I'm actually not going to use any lip liner today. I'm just, I'm just not feeling it, you know? So this right here is Bear It All. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah, these are matte. This is Bear It All. I have a feeling this is the one I'm gonna use. And then Boy Toy is a lot pinker I would say this did not turn out how I want what what this is what the packaging for boy toy looks like this is not the same at all we're not gonna use that shade anyways thanks Morphe that's confusing um, okay, I'm just gonna go in with Bare It All. Actually, I feel like I should line my lips, but let's just see. Mmm, this is. Oh yeah, she's matte. The color's pretty though. I do like the color, but really matte. I'm thick. Um, I'm gonna top it with a MAC lip glass, and this is in the shade Mystic Powers. Mm, I actually really like that. Alrighty, you guys. So this is the final makeup look. Um, definitely not how I thought it was going to go. Um, I had a different look in mind, um, but that's just how these videos go, you know? Um, so I think everything like turned out pretty good. There's a few things that I would not necessarily recommend. I don't think that you need to like run out and go buy them. This Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlight, I had such high hopes for this. Like in the packaging, it looks shiny and metallic and beautiful, but when you apply it to the face, at first it's pretty, but then it just kind of like goes away. It just kind of blends out into nothing and it just left like ashy streaks on my cheek, which I just like was not crazy about. Another thing that just kind of blends away into nothing, this eyeshadow palette, the mattes were really pretty. I think that they were like fine. They were good for mattes, but the shimmers, I was just a little bit disappointed with. Um, some of them didn't apply like they looked in the pan. They swatched really pretty, but again, just blended away into nothing. I was just like not super impressed. Um, they look really shimmery and glittery in the pan. And then when you apply them to your eye, I mean, it looks like I'm just wearing like matte eyeshadow right now. Like it doesn't look like I have any shimmer or glitter or anything like that on there. Um, so these two things kind of are like the only things that I would be like, you 
don't need them, don't bother. Everything else worked out pretty good. Super, super excited about that other highlight palette I tried. The concealer is amazing. The cream bronzer, I'm super, super happy with. And then of course, um, these lipsticks, the Morphe ones, if you're into like dead matte, then you would probably really like these. Um, I just am now stuck on like the KKW like cream formula and I just think they're so comfortable and so beautiful. So this was like a little bit too thick and matte for me, but if you're into really Really matte lipsticks like MAC and that formula. These are really, really great, super pigmented. Um, I think they're still comfortable if you top it with a gloss. It's not as drying, but they are a pretty thick formula, just so you know. So I think that's pretty much everything that's going to conclude today's try on first impressions situation. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. What other products do you want me to test out while we're in quarantine and have the time to play with a ton of new makeup? Are there any videos you want to see? Any recommendations? Anything like that? And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.